This is Charlie Van Dyke. He was called the Phantom, a talented young man with a nose for news and a reputation that came quick for being first on the scene. Notorious for his fearless reporting, he once interviewed a bank robber while he was in the process of knocking the place over. He won an AP award for asking a gunfight victim just what it felt like to get shot in the face. And he strolled into the still smoldering downtown Neiman Marcus after a fire nearly destroyed it to make sure he was the first to report on the damage. November 22, 1963. What most in the Metroplex refer to as the darkest day in Dallas, as the innocent city was marred forever by an assassination. It appears as though something has happened in the motorcade route. Something, I repeat, has happened in the motorcade route. Parkland Hospital has been advised to stand by for a severe gunshot wound. I repeat, a shooting in the motorcade in the downtown area. Parkland Hospital has been advised to stand by for a severe gunshot wound. The world heard about it first on Texas radio. He was just a Dallas boy who fell in love with broadcasting. He lived life to the fullest until his final day in August of 2009. If you ever met him, you knew two things. He loved life, but most of all, he loved a good story. This year, we dedicate the Texas Radio Hall of Fame induction ceremony to Sam Pate. <laughs>